What's going on everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here. We are in a breezy San Francisco afternoon where Apple's Worldwide Developer Conference, WWDC, just wrapped up. We saw the launch of the usual suspects with a few surprises, uh, highlighted by the change from OS 10 to now called Mac OS. iOS 10 has been released for beta, so you know everything that that has to offer, as well as updates to watch and Apple TV. Let me tell you about the highlights. Let's start with the big ones and iOS 10. Your lock screen is going to now get infinitely more useful. First, when you lift up your phone, to your face, you can see the notifications. Don't have to push a button to see what's in. The notifications you are going to see are going to be much, much, much richer, and you can interact with them much more than you could before. Messages, for example, give a 3D touch press, and the keyboard pops up to reply. You can view videos now directly from your lock screen. Most things you can do in app, you can now do directly from the screen. A lot of new views here as well. Things like Control Center got a redo. Widgets are now in the today view. Siri's getting way smarter here. I'm going to spare you the developer API business, but to say, Siri is now hopefully going to be catching off with competitors from Microsoft and Google. Hundreds of new additions to iOS. If you want to know more about them, we've an article on Techno Buffalo that'll go into a ton more detail. But my favorite, the one we spent the most time on, is messages. It is getting way better. They spent a lot of time talking about emojis. You can now make emojis three times bigger inside. You can emojify words if you type let's go get pizza tomorrow and then see a movie. It'll recognize those words that you can find emojis for, automatically put them in for you if you want. New ways to reply to, you can do handwritten messages. A cool thing with invisible ink, if you want to send a message, you can sort of wipe it and it'll slowly appear if you want to say like, I love you and have it have a little bit of an impact. You can do that as well. Uh, there are full screen effects too. A new thing to messages for iOS 10 are bubble effects. You can make them big, small, and sort of convey your moves. It doesn't all just look the same. The look and feel of iOS 10 is very much iOS. There's improvement the things that we know and we use, and it's gotten incrementally better. I think messages being the key highlight there. And we'll see iOS debut in the fall, presumably with the iPhone 7. Public beta will be coming out in July. For a developer, you can download it today. Next, let's jump into OS 10, which got a rebrand. It's now appropriately called Mac OS, and this version is Mac OS Sierra. A ton of new features here as well. The highlights are auto unlock. You can use your Apple Watch or your phone to unlock your MacBook. Universal clipboard, so you can copy something from your phone, your iPad, and paste it on your laptop or desktop. A lot of time focusing on cloud storage here as well. So Apple will actually go through your hard drive, things that they can store on the cloud to save you space. You can pay with Apple Pay, now available on websites. Picture in picture, so if you watch a lot of videos, you can minimize them in the bottom right hand corner or left corner, wherever you guys want. Uh, and that'll be there as well, so you can move them around and resize the window. But probably the biggest highlight and the one that's been missing from previous versions of OS 10, now Mac OS, is Siri. Siri is here on a desktop client. She's going to work very much the way you'd expect. Uh, the best feature for a lot of people is going to be contextualized search. You can say, send me emails that Ron Perita sent me last week. You can go even further to that. You can send me emails that Ron sent me to talk about camera choices. You can get much more granular now with your searches. Uh, it's like Finder to the next level, uh, Voice Finder, but Siri's here with all of her jokes and personality on board. Every year at WWC, I, I keep hoping there's going to be new hardware. I think like a lot of people do, but I forget that it's a developer's conference and that's what we got a lot of stuff for developers. So if you're a developer for Apple, you're probably left really happy. If you're a consumer that wants just more things to consume, you might be a little bit disappointed. Whatever side of the spectrum you fall on, a lot of these things will be available in the fall. So what do you guys think? What are you most excited about, not excited about? Let's hear your thoughts on it. Give the comments down below. Give the video a thumbs up. You guys appreciate it. I'm gonna go enjoy San Francisco. If you've looked at Techno Buffalo or any other website and you've thought, I can do that, or I've got a killer idea to create a website, now is a perfect time to do it, thanks to our friends at Squarespace. You don't need to know how to code, it's not necessary. You can create a site that looks professional and just looks beautiful. It's intuitive, easy to do, and I'll give you a free URL if you sign up for a year. Check them out at squarespace.com slash buffalo or use offer code techno to get 10% off.